In this program, you will use a repeat loop to repeat an if-else conditional block. The resulting program is able to solve simple mazes. Begin by opening the Maze Runner Starter program linked to the right of this video. Drag and drop an if-else conditional block into your program. Set it to make its decision based on whether the distance sensor's value is less than 500. In the if branch, yes, there is an object detected by the distance sensor, place a turn right command block. Set for 0.7 rotations, about a 90 degree robot body turn. In the else branch, no, there is no object detected by the distance sensor. Place a forward command block set to move for 0.5 rotations. Save your program as Maze Runner. Run your program twice. Once with nothing in front of it, and once with a wall in front. Pause this video now and make sure that your robot behaves appropriately in each case. The if else conditional block uses the distance sensor value to determine whether to turn to the side or to move forward. Return to your program and add a repeat forever loop block from the program flow section. Drag the if else conditional block and all of its contents into the repeat forever loop. Save your program and run it again. The robot will now make a repeated series of decisions. As the robot runs, place an object in front of it. At the beginning of every loop cycle, it checks the distance sensor and either turns to the side or moves forward, depending on whether there is an object in the way.